Hey guys, Poopies again. Uh, today, I wanted to look at another one of those oddball firearms. Uh, I know you guys all remembered my earlier video on the JS9, which I begrudgingly found to be functional. Uh, well, today we're going to look at a gun that I don't even think is a good concept. This is the High Standard Model 10B. It is a 12 gauge semi-auto bullpup shotgun with a 4 plus 1 capacity. Okay, so what this began as is uh, there was a police sergeant, Santa Monica, California, if I'm not mistaken, decided that what cops really needed, now mind you this was in the 50s, so a couple years after World War II was over, he decided that police officers needed semi-auto shotguns, but a shotgun is just way too long. We need a bullpup shotgun, semi-auto. And uh, it needs to be compact, so he made something very similar to this. Uh, he used a different action, I believe uh, one of the Remington action shotguns. Cut it up, molded some shit on it, went around, eventually high standard, bought out the uh, design from him. They took one of their shotguns and they molded a bunch of cheap plastic on it and moved the trigger forward to make this ugly uh, catfish of a gun. And it became the high standard Model A. This is the Model B. Difference being uh, Model A had this really ugly uh, flashlight on top. Um, so it was actually uglier than this. So this began, uh, really started production, I believe the late 60s, early 70s, into the mid to late 70s. Um, and then, thankfully, they stopped making these. Now, this was a different time period, so I can't hate too much, but I never understood the fascination of specifically like law enforcement brass and their love of shotguns up and up until uh the late 90s when you know large events being notified call three all officers stay down shots are being fired from ak-47 such as uh, the north hollywood shootout and they realized wow shotguns are fucking terrible maybe we should get rifles i don't know why um, something like sub guns weren't more popular. Um, I know in the uh, 30s, 40s, uh, the Thompson was used by some law enforcement agencies. Um, and then after the war, they got away from that. They started going to 12 gauge shotguns all the time. That was a bread and butter of law enforcement. I don't know why. And then not until. Uh, specialist units in the late 80s started dabbling with like mp5s and so forth um, but it was always shotguns they love their shotguns um, and this played into that uh, again this was a sergeant so some sort of brass and he thought this is what they needed police needed to go around with compact extremely heavy uh, unwieldy like all the weight is way back here and oh you can't shoot this left-handed by the way because it's a bullpup and it will reject eject brass right into you so imagine clearing buildings and so forth like this I don't see it I mean let's take a second and let's just talk about the idea of the bullpup. I can see why someone thought that was an idea, um, particularly someone that doesn't know anything, like the British love bullpup rifles, the French, they're military masterminds, right? <laughs> so the idea is let's get the same length barrel, but we'll move the action back so that it doesn't stick out so far, it's more compact, we'll be able to maneuver with it better. Um, do you need that in a law enforcement perspective? 
are you going into so many things where you need that shotgun, but it has to have that barrel length because, you know, shotguns, barrel length. Because, you know, with shotguns, barrel length is so important. Now, in rifles, yeah, barrel length is sometimes important, especially in a military setting where you are firing at longer distances. If you're firing at longer distances, are you in need of a compact tool? Are you firing long distances in small corridors? It, it's, it's trying to do two things at once, the bullpup concept. Like, I want a long barrel to get the most out of my um, projectiles. However, I want or expect to be in a very confined space. Really? I, I never like bullpups. I don't like the recoil impulse, how everything's back here. I don't like them. And I especially don't like them in a shotgun. Okay, now that I have admitted some of my biases, let's continue to shit on this terrible idea. Now, what situation, especially in law enforcement, because these were marketed pretty much exclusively to law enforcement, what situation, you're a cop on the street, do you need to deploy this, and this is better than any other option? I can't think of any. So you're on the street, you have, I don't know, a robbery in progress or something like that, and you decide, I gotta get the shotgun. And you choose this over a regular Mossberg 500 Remington 870. Why? You have slightly more firepower in that this is semi-automatic. I mean, you could have a semi-auto shotgun. You don't need the pump. They're just more common. Um, you have the same or less magazine capacity. I believe they sold an extension, but it was not common. And um, it's just more unwieldy. Why would you need the compactness of a bullpup and the problems that that brings? Um, I don't know. I can't think of it. I would have I would take literally anything else over this for backup. I'd take another pistol. I don't see a benefit to this. And take a look at some of these other ideas that like the the front sight flips up and down. Which, okay, you have such a great sight radius. This is what, 12 inches or something? That sucks. I, mean, I guess it flips to stay out of the way so it doesn't snag on stuff, but you could still snag on this. It's just, I guess, less likely. Are you deploying it so much that that's an issue? I don't know. Uh, the carry handle, which this is an improvement over the Model A. This one is very tight. I don't think it's supposed to be that tight. So if you're carrying it around, you're blocking the rear sight, then you have to flip it out of the way. It just seems like they just bolted shit on to try to make it, I don't know, futuristic looking. I mean, it, I think this is like a 1950s version of a, like, space gun. Like, oh, this is what they're going to use in the future. No. And there's other stupider... Uh, this this is the improved model, which they added this left side charging handle. And this might have been on the original, too. This rotating buttsock. This is so that you could fire it regularly. Or hold it against your arm to fire, because... You totally want a 12 gauge shotgun bullpup action right hitting your bicep. Why? Who thought that was a good idea? I don't know. Some cat, some guy from California. That's who. When have they ever given anybody any good ideas? Never. Not once. I just don't see the point. I don't know why this like got marketed like someone bought this idea designed it and like they went around to departments and those departments were like yeah 
that looks awesome. We're totally going to use these all the time. So guys, I know today's video was a little short and that's okay because what ended up happening is I got to complain and I like complaining. And you know what? We learned some things today. What did we learn? We learned never trust anything from California. We learned that shotguns are kind of stupid. And we learned bullpups are really stupid. So that's a pretty good day. And with that, I'll leave you guys to ponder. I'm Poopies. I'll see you next time.